moment we've all been waiting for. He's out there. I saw him with my own two eyes. Yes, under here there are eyes. But it's a race against time. The sun is going down. It doesn't stay up all night. This isn't Alaska. It's Texas. Silly. Rodeo time. Gotta get her on down the road. Good morning, ladies and gents. We're back, it's rodeo time. Me and Boone are gonna try it again. Catfish is too. Catfish, get in. Get in, fish. Atta boy. Sit down, these animals. They love me, they listen to me, they do what I say. Welcome back to rodeo time. We're on a quest, we've talked about it. I'm sure you're here to t have hearing a tired of chase. Guess what, I'm here. Today, Junior! Need to get this calf in that pen so he can get some feed, and then go to the sale barn. Yo, Adrian! Adrian! It's a big calf, nice calf, and uh, Boone and I are gonna go look for it one last time. Not one last time, but hopefully the last time because we're gonna find him. Some of you may notice I'm riding a different saddle today. If you noticed it before I said that, then you really are watching some stuff, and I appreciate you. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Those boots. Whoa, snizzle. Mouse in the tack room. Oh, my goodness. So glad my go to wasn't a, a dank curse word. The Boone's already, he's on the go. He's like, what's going on? Little, little mouse. That was, a, that was like a little bitty church mouse. Like I said, I've been riding that other saddle. Whew. Boone scared me, old son. Did it scare you? No, it didn't scare you. Nothing scares you, does it? You're brown. You're Boone the brown. We're gonna be riding hard and fast. We're gonna be riding hard and fast. I do like that other saddle in the fact that it's got those bronc billets on the back. Bronc billets. G bar G bronc saddle billet. They come with 12 holes and they are sewn between each hole. Let me show you. This is a G bar G bronc billet. See, I guess these have holes, that, that many holes too. I like to put these on this. It's like aftermarket switch out and it just makes me feel more cowboy just cause it's a bronc saddle billet. What else? <laughs> you, ain't got that, you ain't got that old string with you, you ain't no cowboy. People just don't understand the stuff I gotta go through at West Camp. They don't. Okay, first of all, it's a long drive out there. Um, it's like six miles. This old truck ain't got AC. <laughs> yeah, the windows will roll down. If you can't last six miles with no AC, you ain't no cowboy. The trailer, it's hard to hook up by yourself. There's a feeder on the back. You know how many times I gotta get out of the truck to hook up that trailer? Like four. Okay, backing up, scooting up, backing up, scooting up, backing up, scooting up. You ain't no cowboy. I don't take water with me. I'm usually only out there two, three hours tops, but the point is, is like, hey, you get thirsty, you're just going to have to tough it up. That's West Camp for you. It's a lot of hard riding. Stop watching me, Boone. Catfish, get back. I'm trying to do my business. Usually I blow the siren, bring them in kind of close. I got to only be on for three or four miles, two, maybe one sometimes. You ain't got time to take some Vaseline in case you get chafed. Whoa. And you got to use Vaseline for your chafage? Hey, old son, you ain't no cowboy. It gets bright. I, I do have like four pair of these Beck sunglasses, but in my truck right now. But still, the, on the side, I don't use the side deals like when you're welding. I don't use those. You got to use those, you ain't no cowboy. Hogs might get after you. Snakes? Come barreling in there? What you gonna do? You got cowboy up. That's me, that's what I do. That's why I'm fit to run Radiator Ranch. Wow, Boone. And be a camper at West Camp that I commute to. I don't camp there. I mean, I, I would though if I needed to. Wow. That's West Camp, you guys. Don't ask me questions about how big it is. I don't know. Well, don't ask me questions about how many head I got. I don't know. Also, it's super rude. Super rude. If you ask somebody how many cows they have, you ain't no cowboy. Period. If you ask me how many cows I have, I will automatically think you ain't no cowboy. Square knots, too. You gotta tie a square knot, like, 
There's a difference in a granny knot and a square knot. They're both double knots. But if you can't tie a square knot, you ain't no cowboy. If you ask me how many cows I have, you ain't no cowboy. If you ask me how many acres I have, you ain't no cowboy. Those are facts, old son. Some people, it's hard for them to see where I'm, I'm playing around. You know, because I'm like that guy, I start to tell a story and you're like, is this a joke? That's not a joke. And I know I'm gonna get a bunch of DMs from a lot of you little jokesters. Ask me how many cows I have, but it ain't funny. It ain't funny. Anyways, back to West Camp. Wild, wild wet, Western, wild Western Wednesday West Camp day. That's what it is. And it's not Wednesday, but it might as well be. It's that Western out there. Surely you can find Texas, Peach. Well, sure I can find Texas, but how am I gonna find July? I still ain't seen them. Well, sure you can find West Camp, Dale. Well, yeah, I can find West Camp, but how am I gonna find number four? Dale, yeah, we're gonna find you, little old buddy. Not hide nor hair of this number four have we found in all of our efforts. I'm gonna go back this evening. Bad breath is better than no breath. We've still got the 99, the metaphorical 99. Like, you leave the 99 to find the one. You're there. You know what I'm talking about. You're there. You're waiting. I hope you all watched uh, Outlaw's video. Oh my goodness. I could not take my eyes off the screen. Partly because I'm so good, look, look good, 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 good looking, but also because it's an awesome video. Check it out. I'm going to put a little thingy up here. A little go, it'll go thoink, and it'll go boink. Or maybe on this, I don't know. Thank you for joining me. Oh. He's out there. I saw him with my own two eyes. Yes, under here there are eyes. And I saw him. It's a moment we've all been waiting for. We've been anxiously waiting for the number four to show face. He's puny. Something's wrong with him. But I didn't have boom. My trusty Steve. So I went back to the house to get him. And now we're headed back to West Camp. But it's a race against time because the sun is going down. It doesn't stay up all night. This isn't Alaska. It's Texas. Silly. Here we go, Willie. Here we go, Willie. I don't have good brakes. I gotta brake early. My blinkers work, though. The truck kind of wobbles whenever I'm braking. I'm gonna catch this calf, Lord willing, tonight. We're drinking beers and grinding gears, boys. Look out. Gah. I'm not drinking beers though, just grinding gears. I'm roping steers and grinding gears, boys. It's a steer, it is a steer. Well, I rock them on the way, start to rock them on the road. To take my rock and you know I can't keep you at home. We're gonna get you home, get you good, get you right. Give you some antibiotics because he's sick. I'm gonna let you do it on your own. How about that? Right before the sun went down too. I kept thinking like, God, we don't have time. It's dark already. And then I remembered like, oh yeah, I'm wearing sunglasses at night. And Boone was like, slow down, buddy. We're driving all fast down this road, Boone. I mean, Dale. It's a loose line, y'all, don't worry. Number four, I'm just glad that you're present and accounted for, old son. Let's get you in the trailer. You gotta tie off. It'd be pretty dangerous for me to dally right now, Boone. I mean, how am I gonna bring this calf over here, open the gate, and Snapchat all at the same time? I don't think I could have done it, Boone. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, we did dally on that last little bit. Obviously, whenever you go to jerk, that'd be really bad if you were tied off and he sucked. We didn't even have to choke him that much, like just a little bit. But it's for his own good. Like he was just like, okay, I'm in. Boom. My noble steed. Thank you for joining us this episode of Rodeo Time. Absolutely not staged. I would have 1000% gotten this calf in earlier if I would have seen him. He's been a ghost. Old buddy, time for you to get well. You guys have a wonderful night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, because you're family now.
You're citizens of Winnebago. And I'm on to the next one. Dale, yeah? All right, little, little son. You get better, okay?